Hey everyone, it's the Eclectic Handyman here with a very easy fix for a broken window switch on any fifth generation Dodge Grand Caravan that's from 2008 to 2020. You're gonna save you lots of money on this one. All right, let's get it fixed. All right, so I've owned three of these caravans. I've had a 2012, a 2016, and a 2020. They are tremendous vehicles, great for the family, but over time, these window switches that have the windows and door locks and the mirrors, they do break over time. But don't worry, and it will be kind of annoying when it happens. Either the door locks will stop working, one of the windows will stop working, and you know it's not everything because maybe you go over to the passenger side or the driver's side and the buttons work fine or at the individual windows they work fine and so in this case i have a physically broken switch and this one doesn't work anymore i've also had these break where the switch is just fine it just doesn't do anything anymore and it doesn't operate and so in this case we need to replace this part and I'm telling you, if you've changed a turn signal bulb or done an oil change or even changed an air filter, this job you're going to find is even easier. You need exactly one tool, maybe two, your hands as well. So I have a plastic pry tool. I don't recommend a screwdriver because of either the vinyl or leather or whatever you have here. It's just too abrupt and it can break this. I'm going to be honest, I've used my fingernails before or my fingers to get under this. But essentially what you want to do is get under this front just kind of gently pry it up and it easily comes out there is exactly one harness on the underside squeeze it on both ends and gently remove that's it all right now what do you need to do there is one very important piece here buy the replacement part i always recommend oem dodge parts if possible but the reality is you're going to pay more here's the deal a lot of these look the same from even different dodge vehicles they look the same but they are not the same it is very important as you can see here that this part number which is a little hard to see but 682-988-71a now that's for mine don't worry, it'll be whatever it is on yours, whatever the broken one is, which is this one right here. Make sure you get this part number and get the exact same part. You will save yourself some time. You might be able to go on eBay, I'm sorry, e well, eBay or uh, Amazon is what I intended to say. Get a generic version of this and you say, hey, it has all the buttons. You put it in and half of them work or none of them work. And it's because of the way I think they're internally programmed and their functionality. So make sure that you get one that's the same. Now, what I have done before is instead of forking out the money for a completely 100% brand new one, is I have gone to eBay and visually inspected. And how do I know? It's not 100%, but take a look at the difference. You see how these buttons are all worn out? You know why? Because it got a lot of use. You see the one on the right, how the, the buttons are okay? This is okay, you know, it's, it's a newer one. So if I can get this for 30 or $35, because there'll be a ton of them on eBay, versus maybe $130, I'm willing to take that chance for a Dodge part that may have been pulled from a wreck and somebody's parting it out and there's a perfectly good switch right here. All right, once you have the new switch, all you need to do is plug that single harness back in now remember, it only goes into one uh, spot, which in this one is right here. It will just click in. It should go in one way, nice and easy. Click, and you don't need any tools for this part. Just apply even pressure, and there you go. We have it installed in under five minutes. Sands may be going online and finding the new part. Next part, let's test it out. All right, I've got the key turned on. Does it work? Yay, my window is working. So we made that fix super easy and I can test the rest of them, make sure that everything is working and we are good to go. Awesome, so one other thing, if you go to the dealer and have them do this, you saw how easy that is. They're gonna charge you full price for the part plus an hour of labor. You're probably looking two to $300 to do this. You go to a local mechanic, 
They're still going to charge you between 80 and 130 for whatever maybe aftermarket or high end part that they're using. Plus their labor, you're still probably looking at 200. Or you can get a gently used one like I did, maybe 35, 40 bucks. Or at, at the most, you're going to buy an OEM one from the Dodge dealer, find the best deal online per that part number, install it yourself. You're going to save a lot of money. Anyway, hope you found this useful. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. Check out the other videos on the channel. And until next time, this is the Eclectic Candyman. We'll see you later.